Linda. I guess first question is what, what is going through your mind right now after that match? Um, I'm just really kind of exhausted mentally and physically. But um, I think it was uh, an unbelievable match for me. Um, um, playing on such a court for the first time and playing with Inga for a second time, I uh, I really wanted to win this, so I'm just glad that I that I did it. Okay, who'd like the first question? Uh, Scott and then Courtney. Scott. Congratulations. Uh, it takes back six months or 12 months. Did you think anything like this would be possible in your life? Um... I mean, I know my game. I know that I have improved a lot in the last year and a half, a uh, year. So, uh, I mean, I just believe my game tonight and I just uh, I just really wanted this win because I didn't really come to that court with, uh, with the thought of, like, I have nothing to lose. So... So I took it very seriously and uh, it was like a match as any other. When you talk about um, believing in your game, what did you know about what you could do um, with all the improvements that, you, that you've made to your game that you could do to get this win, to beat Iga specifically? Just tactically, your shots, what, what did you know you could bother her with? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I just know that when I'm going to be aggressive, uh, I can play with anyone. So... Uh, Obviously, there will be matches when I will not play my best, but uh, tonight, um, especially when I warmed up, I was feeling pretty good, and uh, physically I was just fine, so I just uh, I was coming there on court to uh, have a great match, but to win it, obviously. Okay, John, up the back. In the second set, when you were facing break points, a lot of people would clamp up at that time but you just seemed to swing harder um, what was your mentality at that stage um, I mean there was a lot of ups and downs on both of our serves uh, especially in the third so um, I just had to keep going and believe that I can uh, break her and then hold my serve so um, there might have been uh, some uh, some moments where I didn't really like push too much or I wasn't aggressive enough so um, that kind of backfired me uh, backfired at me but then I um, then I just refocused on what I should do so I did it Aki? Uh, you just said that you have improved a lot in the past like a half or half a year or a year so can you talk a little bit more specifically that what kind of aspect did you improve the most I think I wanted to work on my surf a lot um, obviously my game is uh, to be aggressive almost all the time or especially at the right time so I just uh, work on that daily just to improve the uh, the spots where I hit it. So obviously when I have such a match like tonight and I'm playing good and I'm feeling good, um, a lot of uh, a lot of points can go my way without even me realizing it and uh, fully like knowing what. Um, if I had planned it or not, but um, I feel like uh, practicing and improving on yourself daily is like the main goal for me. Okay, Courtney. When you talk about the the belief um, that you could that you could get the win tonight over Ego, where do you remember a specific moment or a specific match, maybe in the last year, year and a half, that made you believe that turned you into? somebody who, yeah, stepped on court with nothing to lose, let's see what happens, into someone who truly believed that your game can beat anybody when you play well? Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of times that I have played, like, a top 10 player, it was, uh, let's say, 100% um, of the time, like, I have actually nothing to lose, and I'm just going to go there and try to play my best, and we'll see how it goes, and... A few times I have beaten uh, a great player, but it wasn't really like uh, 
it was maybe like a fluke or something like that, let's say. But um, especially like in my head, because uh, I actually didn't go on court with one thousand percent belief and trust uh, that I can win the match. So I just played good that day and it went my way. But I feel like tonight I was really um, actually a little <laughs> stressed uh, from the morning, which doesn't really happen to me much often. So. I knew that it it means a lot to me. So, uh, yeah. Any more in English? In, in the final game, obviously, I mean, already just two days ago, we saw people have leads on Iga and not be able to hold their serve when you need to do it. So today, you're down love 30. She plays those two great points uh, to put you behind in that last game. Is the hand shaking? Are you, because you're a very calm seeming person. Uh, but I don't know what's going on on the inside, but you obviously responded perfectly there. But but how nervous were you in the final game? Um, well, we had a few breaks in the third, so I knew that it's possible for her to break me again. And then we play another at least two games. So um, I just took it as she played it good. She played it well. She started the game really good. So... Um, I uh, I had to come up with a first serve mainly. So when I did that, I kind of uh, refocused and it was like, okay, let's let's play more and let's uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, you know, the rest of the game. And uh, then she made like an unforced error, and uh, it was thirty all. And I was like, okay, let's focus on my serve. That's the main that's the main part again. So. Yeah, I was a little shaky, of course, but uh, I think I handled it well. <laughs>